are sitting on the steps of Konttori, the office building of old sawmill that used to be in Varjaka Island in early 1920s. And we have been organizing here Varjaka Art Lab for the last five weeks. And tonight we are going to have a little Varjaka Art Lab party, which is combined with uh, international artist residency crowd that ha we have been organizing for two weeks. Varjaka Island is a unique place. It's, uh, it's a ghost island. There's nobody living here. There's uh, the, the shell of this, the, uh, the industry that used to be here in the form of a few buildings that are still left. But it, uh, it's had a rich history of all kinds of different things, but it's not really very used very much these days. Like a place like this has so much history and so many stories already kind of embedded here so that the the longer we stay here and the more we talk with people and the more we just explore and find little things um, the more we uncover like this this past history and these little stories that take us all over um, that's very inspiring as an artist um, yeah it's like already just the buildings and the nature here are really inspiring and just the fact that it's been like a big saw and sawmill industry here um, was already quite inspiring for us and we started uh, creating a new piece from that, that kind of historical perspective. Um, but then when talking more with um, Tanya and John, for example, from Taika Box, who know uh, quite a lot of um, historical little stories from here um, we got quite related to like the actual history and some like specific stories of uh, women who worked here and their conditions and their stories and and so on so it's a uh, it's an inspiring space and place um, just as it is but even more so because of the history of it quite special that it's uh, it's just, it's really a place where you have to come to so it's not really a place where you can just decide to pop by but you have to actually commit to coming um, and the whole fact that you have to use actual physical labor to get on the island it's it's really it's really wonderful and it's quite grounding in some sense um, the fact that you come here there's other people here the whole place is shared, um, it's really inspiring, it feels good as an artist, it feels good because the work, especially during Corona, has been quite lonely. 